Okay, uh, it's not just a big interview here. I think it's the biggest. First of all, we got two guests, and this is awesome. We got the Lords Brothers, and we're going to talk East West Showdown coming up this weekend in New Jersey. Uh, I don't know who to go through first. I don't want to pick favorites here. I don't want to tip the visor or the hat of who we're going first. But I can't have you answer questions at the same time. So, Hunter, I'll just I'll just go with you first. You've won more recently. We keep hyping this weekend up big time as who's going to win. Are you actually thinking of it that way? Are you actually thinking of it as a championship race and you're worried about points and not messing up? What direction do you go, Hunter? Yeah, I mean, someone's got to win, you know? Okay. Uh, so obviously you, you want to go in and, and yeah, both of us want to win. But at the same time, I think it's kind of cool because we both have a pretty healthy points lead that, you know, we can't really, you know, obviously we touch wood within reason. We can't really mess it up. As far, you know, I'm, I think I'm 45 points and Jets 26. So it's, uh, it's a good position to be in. I think everyone can kind of let their hair down and just, Go have fun. Go put on a good show and, and, and have some fun racing. Oh, oh, okay. That's even better than we thought. Uh, Jet, what's your take on that? You got a big enough points lead to slug it out out here and not have to worry about, let's just not mess this up for the title? Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, we both have a fairly healthy, like, points lead, like, head, so I think it's just kind of really going out there and racing. It's like any other race, really. I mean, whoever, I don't think we're going to do anything stupid where we're going to be trying to take each other out or like risking ourselves. But I mean, if we're one and two, and the, I mean, if I'm second and the pass is there, I'll take it and vice versa. Like, we're not going to do anything crazy or stupid out of our way. I mean, our main goal is obviously we still be one, two at the end of the day. So we, um, you don't know, we're just kind of, it's whoever's feeling that day, really, whoever's kind of feeling maybe more risky. So I mean, at this point, we don't know. I mean, just have to wait, really. <laughs> um, I've talked to you and Hunter both individually. I know you're his biggest fan. When he's racing, I've heard you're screaming, running around the house for him. Hunter, the same with you. How hard is it, though, to flip that switch off? Because at the end of the day, you're lining up to win the race. And just because you're brothers doesn't mean you don't want to win the race. But you're also going to be lining up against someone that's your biggest fan, that you're the biggest fan of. So how do you flip that switch, shut all that stuff off, and just go try to win the race? <laughs> well, respectively, when the helmet comes on, it's more of like a uh, screw you, not really much of a fan side of thing, <laughs> fan side of thing anymore. But I mean, no, it's, it's, I mean, once you put our helmets on, we know our job. We're supposed to, we're not, we're not paid to be each other's fan on the track and try and let one go at a time. I mean, we're still racing for our championship so i mean it's uh in the back of our head we're cheering for each other and but then again we're always always kind of cheering each other no matter what so i mean it just uh I mean, it's a tricky situation but i mean we both know our job uh what, what we need to do out there so it doesn't change doesn't change or doesn't make a, a big deal for us and hunter I'll, this one's for you i remember back salt lake city a couple of years ago both on the podium, uh, magical night at a showdown. Then last year, Atlanta. So you guys have had a chance to race each other a couple times in the last few years. But um, how does it feel to know that you get another chance to do this two more times? This weekend's the big one because it's first. But knowing that you'll get two more chances to do this special East-West showdown together. And then after that, probably won't happen again. Yeah, it's cool. Like you said, you know, we got two more chances this year. But I think it's unique because... Obviously, we're both each other's fans when one of us is racing, but it's kind of similar to outdoors. You know, we race each other. It's kind of like, I want to win, and so does he. But if, you know, I think if we have to get beaten or we get beaten, I think we'd both rather it be by one of each other because in, and then it, it kind of like, in a sense or in a weird kind of unexplainable way, it softens the blow a little because it's, you know, it's your blood and it feels like, when he wins, it feels like I win, a part of me wins, and same vice versa. Obviously, in the moment, it's like, oh, damn it, he beat me or whatever. But, you know, when you look back at it, you're like, oh, well, I'm glad it was my brother, my training partner, the guy that I've grown up with, and we've grown from nothing to where we are now. Then, you know, rather be that guy than someone else that, that isn't part of this family. Can you guys still step back a little bit every once in a while and think like, this is nuts. Between the two of us, we've won all but one race each. And we're the guys that are hyped to win both titles and battle each other. Like, can you have that perspective of where you were, say, seven years ago to think that watching Supercross, you've gotten to this point, racing it? 
Yeah, for sure. It's tough to do because we're so driven and we're always, you know, whenever we achieve a goal, it's we we have to try our best to remind ourselves to like, you know, uh, cherish it and stuff because we're so driven. We automatically, it's hard not to, to just go on to the next goal, you know, and I think uh, all the greats in the sport, you know, are equally as guilty of doing the same thing. So, yeah, it, it is tough, but it is pretty cool to look back. Even last year, you know, throughout the year, Lawrence Brother was on the podium every race except uh, one one from each brother in Supercross. Um, and then pretty much every weekend in outdoors, one of the brothers was on the podium. So, yeah, it's a pretty a pretty cool streak and, and stuff for our father and family, more so than, than us, you know, as a, a tip of the cap to our father and everything our family and our, you know, team, our circle, our agent and trainer have all, you know, endured and gone through to get to this point. Okay, look, this is uh, our first look at you guys against each other this year, but we know how motocross works. You guys ride together during the week. I'll let you retort if you want, Hunter, but Jet, uh, anything special when you're riding in the last couple of weeks, measuring each other, seeing things, picking up on things, anything that you can use? I don't, I don't, really, I don't really think so. It's kind of like just whoever gets the better start and is feeling that day, really, because, I mean, we're both pretty close in speed, and I would say we're both, like, in a – 250 kind of prime you could say so like it's kind of whoever's on it that day whether it's feeling that track a bit better whether it's feeling more more spunky that day so i mean no i i feel like we're both pretty mentally strong on a bike so i don't think there's ever trying to like mentally break each other on the track there's no like panic revving on the inside because we do that all the time so it's uh i don't know it's just whoever's feeling it that day really what do you think hunter yeah, we, we, when you said that question, when you asked him, we actually haven't ridden together on a Supercross track since, geez, I'm trying to think. I want to say before Tampa. I oh, think, wow. Okay. Like, it, it's been a long time because obviously when the, seas, when the series went east and I was on Supercross, Jet was on the outdoors. And then as soon as the series would come back, you know, to, to Jet the week of, he would jump on Supercross, I would be on outdoors, you know, so... Uh, this week was going to be the first week we were going to be uh, on Supercross together, but I haven't I haven't rode it all this week uh, <laughs> from what happened on the first lap at Atlanta. So, all right, this has been as good as we thought it was going to be. They ha- they don't even they don't even have any ridden together, so that makes it that much better. Thanks for the time, boys, and uh, just put on a show. Thanks for getting this far and making it this fun. Thanks. Time to wrap up this episode of SMX Insider. Let's tease it. We're going to New Jersey. Titles on the line. Brother versus brother. It's so good. We're going to add a half hour to our coverage. So you can watch the regular race day live program starting at 1.30 Eastern time. And then we'll have our night show begin at 6.30, which is a half hour early for a special pre-race show. We'll show you opening ceremonies and all the pageantry that make Monster Energy Super Golf what it is. And the racing starts right after that. Hi, folks. Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, You can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.